We've been doing some samples on a quilt today and I wanted to take a few seconds to show you how this thing works and what you need to do in order to go from row to row and also let you uh, see it sew a little bit. So we have just finished this row of bubbles right here and so all I got to do is I just mark to the side of it where my center line is on my sewing machine. That's my zero point. So zero is right on the edge of my fabric and at that mark. Because when I advance it, I have to move my zero down. And then I just advance the quilt enough that I know I can get the next row in there. All right, so my zero point has moved to here. So I move the machine to that point. Okay, then I zero my y-axis. And then I tell it to move down the amount of my pattern. All right, so my next pattern is going to take seven and a half inches. So I tell it to move negative seven and a half. And then I zero the Y again. And so that's my new zero point. Right there. And so I'm gonna take a marker and mark my zero. That way if anything happens, I can get back to it. I know it's the edge of the fabric and that mark right there. Okay, now I've got my G-code loaded and so I can tell the machine to check the size before I start and it'll make sure that everything's gonna go right. And all that does is it just runs a circle around or runs the perimeter of what your pattern is going to be. All right, now when we first tell it to start, it's going to go to the starting place. Remember, I put those uh, pauses in there. If you watched my other video, I put pauses in there where, when I needed to start stitching. So I'm going to tell it to start. And that's where it wants to start. So now we're going to pull up our thread and we're going to set it to run. So it is paused again so that uh, we can cut the strings. But this is just, a, you know, it's a sample quilt. It's just testing out samples. So we're not worried about how the edges finish out or anything like that. So now I move my machine now that it, I've stopped it running. And I can cut my threads and move back to my starting point.
Just tell it to go to zero. And that brings us right back where we started. Now, from there, we just do what we did last time. We advance the quilt and we do the next step. All right, well, I hope this was helpful to you or at least interesting. Thank you for watching.